Good afternoon to all dignitaries. I, Dr. Jahira, feel privileged to extend my warm welcome to all present here for the book release function of Textbook of Human Anatomy. Now, I invite Dr. Aravindan, sir, uh, Professor, Department of Anatomy, to welcome our chief guest, Professor Dr. Akesh Agarwal, sir, with a bouquet. Thank you, sir. Now, I invite Dr. Suma, ma'am, head and professor, Department of Anatomy, to welcome our guest of honor, Professor Dr. Pankaj Kuntra, Dean Academic, Zipmer. Thank you, ma'am. Now, I request Dr. Amidana, sir, to invite, our, well, to, inv to invite our guest of honor, Professor Dr. Ellen Durai Rajan, sir, Medical Superintendent, Zipmer. Thank you, sir. Now, I request Dr. Suloshna, ma'am, to welcome our guest of honor, Professor Dr. D. M. Tapa, sir, Dean Research, Zipmer. Thank you, ma'am. Now, I request Dr. Suman, ma'am, to welcome our guest of honor, Dr. K. C. Premarajan, sir, Project Coordinator, Zipmer. Now, I request Dr. Rashegar, sir, to welcome our guest of honor, Dr. Krishna Goyal, D.D. Zipmer. Thank you, sir. Now, I request our chief guest and guest of honor to release the book. Now, I request our chief guest and guest of honor to release the digital platform for embryology and histology. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Now, I request Dr. Suma, ma'am, Professor, Head and Department of Anatomy, to share her views on this book. Uh, thank you, Dr. Zahira. Uh, respected Director, sir. Uh, respected Dean Research, uh, Dr. Tapa, sir. Uh, Dr. Uh, uh, Dean Academic, uh, Dr. Kundra, sir. Uh, MS, sir. Uh, Dr. Uh, uh, Dr. Rajan. Uh, respected DDA, sir. Uh, so, it's... Uh, uh, it gives me immense pleasure uh, to give my uh, uh, experience uh, for the release of this, uh, the volumes, uh, what uh, Dr. Yogesh has uh, written. Uh, working closely with him, uh, so I know like uh, how much uh, work has gone into preparing the book. Uh, the illustrations which form a major uh, uh, learning uh, source for the students. So he has put in a lot of efforts to illustrate the diagrams as well as the content part, the text part, which are the easier for the students to understand the subject. So uh, congratulations, Dr. Yogesh. Uh, so it's a huge effort. It's not easy. Like uh, writing one book itself is a, a tough task. But uh, he has like the perseverance to bring out a six volumes uh, of whole of the gross center, which includes the gross, the osteology part, the embryology part, the histology part. So all in one, like a student uh, need not uh, refer uh, any other book. Like all the content with a uh, lot of flow diagrams, tables, charts, everything is there. 
plus uh, MCQs also is there and uh, is also given access to online content also. So like it's a huge effort and uh, he has done in a short span of time. And uh, whenever uh, he's doing some work, uh, he always approaches, shows his work. And uh, whenever I also for uh, taking class, when I want some diagrams, I always ask him. And uh, 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 very, uh, this thing like uh, he's easily like approachable and always willing to uh, share his, uh, the content, whatever he has made. So it has really helped us also a lot. Thank you, Dr. Yogesh. Congratulations on your future endeavor. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Now I request Dr. K.C. Premarajan, project coordinator, to share his views on this book. Yeah, it's a very pleasant occasion. I, I've been knowing Dr. Yogesh for quite some time. I always find is um, very quietly he's been doing so many volumes, and especially I found that he discussed he made the subject uh, very simple, easy for the students to understand with this illustration. I am sure this not only uh, help our student also medication across the country and think it's uh, really takes our name of jipma uh, to a, a different level and i think your department already has this uh, culture of publication earlier i think grace anatomy indian nutrition was brought out by dr arvind and another group okay is it uh, i mean dr arvind yeah. ravindra sorry yeah sorry uh, ravindra and brought out that so uh, again i congratulate you for the so i, mean, I can imagine how much Hard work has gone into it. Definitely, it's a blessing to our students. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Now, I request our guest of honor, Professor Dr. D. M. Thapa, sir, Dean Research, Jipma, to share his view on this book. Thank you for the opportunity given. And uh, it's a very hard work. I know it. I have myself have been involved in. Um, uh, authoring the books as well as editing the books and then also handling the journals. So the I know it's a you have to burn midnight aisle to bring something in illustration form and he has been the master in medical illustrations. So, so the I envy his art of medical illustration. So that is why many times I have asked him that you share something with me also so that I can use in my retirement age to do the things because I don't finding the time otherwise. Uh, all the best, whatever it is. So the you have put a lot of efforts to bring out these books. Very simplified books. I have seen it myself. And then I have asked him to, to write a few articles for me also. And not for me means for my journal so the he has contributed few of those articles and they are hit because they are just giving the things in a very simplified ways and uh, the one of the article which i asked him to, to write because of that he is a so good illustrator so the he write on medical illustration how it can be used as a tool uh, for making your publications a little more uh, acceptable to the public. So the, with these few words, I thank and and, and Dr. Um, uh, for this wonderful work and you are making our Jipmer horizons brightened. Okay, so the somebody will know it that it is something from Jipmer. Also, the books are being published. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Now I request our guest of honor, Professor Dr. Ellen Dure Rajan. Sir, Medical Superintendent Shipma, to share his view on this book. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Um, I, at the outset, would like to congratulate Dr. Yogesh Tontaki for this uh, monumental work of six volumes on human anatomy that covers, as Professor Suma has said, all facets of anatomy. Uh, I, I, it's a throwback to my MBBS days where we have got uh, histology, developmental anatomy, uh, neuroanatomy, I am told that this covers the whole gamut, and that's a huge achievement. So my congratulations to you, sir. Um, I'm sure uh, I just had a brief talk with him uh, uh, a few minutes ago, and he, I believe this is the 10th book that he has produced in his uh, career, and that's uh, quite an incredible achievement. 
I hope this inspires many more of us here and beyond to contribute to the uh, medical knowledge in this fashion. Uh, I also hope that these uh, books that uh, Dr. Yogesh has released, that they will be updated with future editions uh, so that a legacy is left behind so that we have one day uh, Sontake's textbook of anatomy that lives beyond his times also, like Gray's anatomy is still being talked about. So that's the ultimate, I guess. So my best wishes in the future for these ventures. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Now I request our guest of honor, Professor Dr. Pankaj Kundra, Dean Academics, Jipmer, to share his view on this book. Uh, a very good afternoon to all of you and uh, hearty congratulations, Dr. Yogesh. It's a monumental work, an extraordinary effort which you have put in for many years. It's not something which has been compiled in few months. And uh, I know the kind of hard work which you have uh, you have put in. I have gone through the books which you had given me and uh, they are so simplified and specifically the illustrations as everyone has pointed out, uh, they are simply extraordinary. But what I want to think is that maybe you will go beyond to produce those 3D kind of illustrations where uh, students can actually look at how digitally they can look at the human anatomy. Maybe that's the way we need to progress. The only uh, issue which I like to point out, I think I discussed with you, but as Dean Academic, we all publish books. It's a feather in the hat and it takes Jipmer to a new level. But at the same time, we also need to look at the conflicts of interest which we have when we author a book in a medical institution. So I believe some guidelines would come for us to tell us how we how we resolve these issues. So that's my uh, take on it, but really very hard work. And it's uh, the book itself, when you go through it, it has even made me learn a lot of new things because when we look at the sonar anatomy and other things, it really matches with what uh, we are trying to learn even at this stage. Thank you very much for getting this out and for making things easy for the students to learn. Thanks. Thank you, sir. Now, I would like to request our chief guest, Professor Dr. Rakesh Agarwal, sir, Director Jipmer, to share his view on this present book. Uh, thank you. Uh, I think there is very little left to say because the most of what can be said has been said. I met Yogesh for the first time somewhere in March 2019. I think I'd been here for about three months when he came with one of his uh, books and said, here is a book. I went through it and I also learned at that time that all the images had been drawn by him himself using uh, drawing software and it was amazing what he had achieved. One really wondered, you know, so all of us have seen those images in Grey's Anatomy and then there is a signature on the side. Here we have a person who uh, reaches that level, those diagrams that come, came from Netter, uh, that's the kind of illustrations we have. Having myself tried my hand at editing a book, I think, uh, or two books, I've done that, but it's extremely challenging to be able to do. So we can call it one book, we can call it six books, but if it even if we call it one book with parts, it's a huge book. And taking it from one end to the other is extremely difficult journey. And I know what you and more than you, your family must have gone through <laughs> when you have uh, done all this. So uh, it's a very, very difficult job. And to be able to, you know, bigger problem is to be able to maintain your interest and, uh, you know, effort for such a long time is extremely difficult. I can tell you that uh, I've done one, but there were two of us working and there were times in between when we gave, virtually gave up and then and it's a much, much smaller book, which is uh, what we did. So uh, I think what Dr. Kundra said that, you know, 3D diagrams, I think the 
future is in multimedia you'll have to move towards that and i think you are capable of doing that so uh, that's uh, that would be possibly the next step to which you'll have to uh, get on to and uh, i would say that uh, best of luck for that and uh, hopefully the book does well proof of the pudding lies in it being eaten the more the people who come to eat it the and then they say that uh, it is liked uh, then that is what the real measure will be to that extent if i have a suggestion to give you i have given you some suggestions uh, you, uh, everybody knows by now that i can always find fault even in the perfect thing so <laughs> that's okay <laughs> you call them that or you call them suggestions i have given you some already the other thing i would do is that i think if you have a electronic kind of a format where it is available make something so that the people who come there can leave you feedback there will always be some things that you can improve some things where you uh, error creep in i know that the my first book chapter for a major international book that i wrote it said hepatitis e has a prodromal period of 14 days it was supposed to be one two four days and it became 14 days so you know error creep in at all stages so i think if you leave that uh that would be extremely useful uh, uh, you know you get those feedbacks and those uh, will be useful when you revise it for the next time and that will be useful uh dr kundra referred to conflict of interest i think it's something that each of us has to look at the only way i don't know how it works at mbbs level today it can only be i was very fortunate when i was a student none of my teachers actually had a published book uh, at that time we all used to read uh, western textbooks so to that extent it is useful to have indian textbooks but uh, i really don't think i have an easy answer if you were alluding to me providing an answer there can be one way can be that there can be but i know that this problem exists uh i have heard about it one has heard the students talk about it uh so it's uh, an important issue so one method is that the department can prescribe three or four books and say students can follow any of those another way which sometimes appears to reduce conflict of interest but can also be misconstrued as promoting it in another way is to make the book available to students within the institution at a reduced price by an arrangement with the publisher okay but the problem is that even if you make available at 50% of the original price somebody may say you are making them pay 50% and trying to promote your book but there can be you know so perfect solution can never be found but i have tried to suggest to you some methods that can appear to reduce the conflict of interest that's all i can say with that once again congratulations keep up your drive it's very easy to lose drive somewhere okay especially as you grow older uh, so keep it up uh, do better next time and maybe involve other people in the department and uh, see uh, you know how i'm sure they have further ideas that can help improve on this and uh, uh, include them collaborate with them see what can be done thank you for taking the jipmer flag higher thank you thank you sir for your valuable words now i invite dr yogesh sir to deliver the vote of thanks first of all thank you for uh, coming uh, for this function i know that one it is a lunch time and uh, i am extremely sorry for that uh, i take my I'm image i'm sorry for that because we had kept it another day something else came up and then uh, we had to do this and then we were not being able to find time so i said okay i didn't realize that it's going to be such a big thing i thought it will be a smaller function so i'm sorry for <laughs> having everybody miss lunch i take immense pleasure in extending my sincere thanks to um, uh, professor dr rakesh agrawal sir for giving us the opportunity for release of this book i thank uh, professor uh, dr pankaj kundra sir dr dorey rajan sir uh, dr thapa sir 
डॉक्टर प्रेम राजन सर डॉक्टर कृष्णा गोयल सर डॉक्टर अरविंदन सर फॉर एनकरेजिंग एंड एक्सेप्टिंग माई इन्विटेशन फॉर दिस प्रोग्राम आई एम थैंकफुल टू डॉक्टर सुमा फॉर हर कंटिन्यूस मोटिवेशन एंड इनवेल्युएबल सपोर्ट Uh, I am uh, grateful uh, to uh, Mr. S K Jain and Mr. Varun Jain, Mr. Y N Arjuna, and his entire CBS publisher team, uh, and especially Mr. Murli Dharan for their continuous support and giving the shape to this book. I acknowledge the support from Dr. Sarsu, Dr. Glavvin, Dr. Ramindrana, Dr. Sulochna, Dr. Suman, Dr. Rajshekar sir for their continuous support. Special thanks to Dr. Dharmara sir, Dr. Dinesh sir, Dr. Salina, Dr. Sara. for their continuous inputs in each and every diagram thank you sir i am eating your brain i know that each and every diagram whenever i draw i call they are sitting adjacent and i eat their brain like anything i thank you uh, all our senior residents uh, dr arun zahira priyanka rituraj and neetu for their support i acknowledge our junior residents for their support in proofreading and other helps i am thankful to oh, mr jagan uh, sentil well sulochna neeraj kavita laila Sina Swami Denmark for their help in today's program. I am thankful to Dr. Vujwala, my co-author, for her efforts in shape, shaping this digital platform. This digital platform, see, I cannot uh, say that publisher should give the book free of cost because there is expenditure behind that. But definitely, I make them assure. I mean, so make them make it sure that digital platform will be freely accessible to all faculties and all students. At least they can do that one. And I have tried to put. and as sir said it is the mover future so it will be freely accessible only they will need to send one email to get the access code i am especially thankful to dr zahira for the help in conduction of this program i thank my wife daughter parents for their continuous support i thank you all for the presence i thank ma saraswati for giving me patience and strength for the work thank you thank you sir thank you sir on behalf of department of anatomy i thank you all for your gracious presence have a nice day thank you